So hey guys, what's up? In this video we will see, how you can add live chat to your Presta shop marketplace. We will also see how you can easily create your own chatbot, without even a single line of code. For this tutorial, you will need a communicate account, if you don't have one yet, the registration link is in the description box below. Register now for a 30 day free trial. So without wasting any time, let's get it started. So for the very first step, log into your Presta Shop dashboard. Once logged in, click on Modules from the right navigation panel. Then, click Module Catalog. And then click Module Selections. After that, search for Communicate, then just add this module to your Presta Shop Marketplace. Once done, go to Module Manager. Here, configure your newly added Communicate module. After clicking Configure, you'll need your Communicate app ID. For that, just log into your Communicate dashboard. Go to Settings, click Install. Then just copy your app ID after that, go back to your Presta Shop account, paste the app ID here. Then click Save. And done, you have now added Communicate's live chat widget to your Presta Shop marketplace. Now to test it, let's just view our shop, and we can see on the bottom right corner, here is the chat widget. Once you click it, the chat window will open. Let's send few messages, and if you have configured a chatbot, you'll see real-time response to your messages. If you don't have a chatbot yet, don't worry. Creating a chatbot has never been easier. You can create your own chatbot easily, using Communicate's powerful GUI Bot Builder tool, Compose. Let's see how you can do that. Log into your Communicate dashboard, and click on Bot Integrations. Once the Bot Integration page is open, you can directly click on Integrate Bot, or you can visit the Compose page. For this tutorial, let's click this Integrate Bot button. So on the very first step, you have an option to select any one of the pre-built templates for your chatbot. These templates comes with inbuilt relevant intents, which shall make your bot creation process so much easier. For now let's build one from scratch so we'll select a blank template. Next step is to give your bot a name. We'll call it Alex for this tutorial. Next, choose your bot avatar. You can either go with one of the default ones or upload your own. I think this one looks cool. Let's select this and move to the next step which is to select a default language for your bot. You can select any language from this list, we'll go with English for now. After that, just click save and proceed. Now, believe it or not, you are done creating your chatbot. This final step allows you to enable bot to human handoff feature. Your bot can transfer the conversation to a human team member, when it is unable to recognize any user query. So let's enable this awesome feature, and click finish bot setup. From the next page, you can set your bot to handle all incoming conversation from now on. Let's click I'll set it up later. After that, you'll land on the Compose page. From here, you can create various intents for your chatbot. Whenever your bot receives a query, it will try to match that with an intent and answer it. Once a query matches an intent, the bot will reply in real time, instantly. So, as we can see, there are some pre-built intents, first is default welcome intent. This intent is what your users will see when they start their conversation with your bot, for the very first time. So under bot's message text field, type any custom message you want your users to see. For example, we can write, Welcome, how may I help you? Once you've typed your message, click save changes. There is a preview window on the right side where you can see how your chatbot is shaping up. You can also click this test button to open a test web page from where you will get a better idea of how your chatbot will work. We'll show that as well in the later part of this video, but first, let's talk about other intent sections. Let's click Answer. Here you can give your intent a name, such as, Pricing. Then, under Configure User's Message, enter queries which you expect your users or website visitors to ask. Such as, Tell me about various plan pricings. You can use this Add button to add multiple queries for which you want the same answer. Now, under Configure Bot's Reply, enter the answer to those queries. Once that is done, click Save Changes. You can not only create text answers, but other rich messages like buttons, image, and custom payloads as well. If you are interested in creating rich messages, link to that video is in the description box below. So, once you are done configuring your intent, again, click Save Changes. The next is Small Talk section where you can set up small talk messages such as Hi, Hello, Good Morning etc. Your chatbot already comes with few inbuilt ones, but, you can always add more by clicking the Add button. For example if a user says, say about you, the bot will reply with, I'm a virtual agent. Now, the next section is, unknown user input. This is the message which chatbot will show to the user when it is unable to match the query, 
with any available intents. In such cases, if the bot to human handoff feature is enabled, your chatbot will transfer the conversation to any available human agents. So in that case, you can simply put, your query is being transferred to a human agent. Now again, click save changes once you are done with your custom message. Now, let's test our chatbot using this test button. After that, you'll see this page. From here you can easily test your newly created chatbot. As we can see, the bot shows the welcome message which we created. Now, if you remember, we created this query, tell me about various plan pricings, even if the user's query doesn't match this intent exactly, your Compose bot uses advanced NLP engine to learn to answer similar queries automatically. So even if you type plan pricing, it will trigger the same intent. As you can see bot's response, pricing here, which was actually the answer for this query, tell me about various plan pricings. But the chatbot has replied with the answer even when the query was not exactly the same, that's so cool. Right? So guys, that is it for this video. Have fun creating your first chatbot, and see you in the next one.